Well, a point away from home was always a good result. Mickey, what did you make of the overall performance? Yeah, I thought, I thought overall, over the whole 90 minutes, I thought we were superb and, and asked what we had to do. We, we, we were always there. We played some really good football. I think, as everybody would, would, would know, it would just be about getting on the end of some stuff or, or that wee bit of clinicalness. Um, but I thought it was a hard-fought game, which you'll always get at, at Port Vale. I, I, we always know it's going to be a difficult game, but we were rolled on by a, what, what we must say is an unbelievable support. They were brilliant, they were absolutely superb and we, we really appreciate them. That's why we went up to the end and made sure that we let them know that we appreciate them spending their money and coming and supporting us because we needed them today and we're going to need them all through the season. So that gave us the legs and the energy and, and the, the, the desire that we needed because they, they felt that we energy because of the way that they supported us. But the players were, were really good. We played some really good controlled football. Um, showed a lot of bravery with the football, and uh, no, it was it was a really hard fought game. A lot of crosses into the box today as well. I suppose a bit more end product is that the you know, the question? I suppose. Yeah, you would have to say that if you're going to put the ball in the box, it would be wrong of me to say that we we, we maybe need to get people on the end of of, of things, um, and that's everybody. But we we did get people on the end of things as well. To, in, all, in all fairness to the people who's delivering it into the box. Because we felt in the first half we needed to be a wee bit more a bit clinical with that final pass to set up some chances. I think the second half we were, um, but all it was going to take was that wee bit of a glancing header or, or that wee bit of a volley or a wee ricochet to go to us. But like I say, it was it's a hard fought game, at a difficult place to come, um, and we will uh, we will get the players ready now and, 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 and go to, get them to swim them. Older men midweek, you, you switched to the wing backs and used them again today. And I thought, you know, Cogley down the right, Morris down the left, did a really good job for you. I thought we were brilliant. I, I really did. I thought we played really, really well. We um, we have systems that we can play. There's no doubt about that, and that's great for the manager to have. I, I love being able to switch systems if I can. I know I've got the personnel to do that. I know I can trust them in order to do that. And when they come in, they they'll, they'll perform like they did today. I, I thought all over the pitch there was. There the, the were superb performances all over the pitch. Like I say, we, we, we came here to win, there's no doubt about that. We, we came here to win. Um, but we've come away with a hard fought clean sheet and, a, and, a, and, a, and another point. A Tramir debut for, for Nat Knight Percival today as well. He, he slotted in, very experienced player, of course. Yeah, Rolls Royce. I have need, had no doubt when I worked so hard to try and get him here of the qualities that we bring to this group. I absolutely adore the lad, he's, 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 he's one of my first go-to men when I, when I go to any club if I was ever down here. Um, I know what he does for you. But right across the, 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 the three centre-backs, they were brilliant, my goalkeeper was brilliant. Um, Wing-backs were excellent, midfield was great, the tens were good, and the big man fought and harried and, and took some beating up front, but he keeps going. Um, and all that was missing was, was that goal, but in terms of us as a football club, Bringing that type of support today, putting in the types of performances, it shows you what Tram was all about. You're pleased with Manny up top there and he, you know, linking the play and, as you say, taking a bit of a battering? Oh, he took a real battering and, and, he, and he needs to get a lot of credit for that. He needs to get the credit. I, I, I know sometimes, and, and quite, quite rightly, a lot of people will be judged on, on scoring goals and all the rest of it, but he does a real sterling job for us up there that, that, that we will need during the season to have that that focus, that target that we can go and play off and then it's up to the rest of us at times to kind of get him behind that or, or get in the end of some of the crosses when we'd swept it out to the, to the wing backs to maybe try and get across people in the box but we'll go and work on that again next week it's my job as a manager, it's my responsibility to try and get us to score goals and, 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 and me and the, the, the coaching staff will go next week um, when we can because we need to rest them up now because we're not massive in numbers I think that's another problem for us, we're not really big in numbers um, but we'll get them dusted down and we'll go again um, try to protect their energy levels as much as we can for Swindon. Is that the reason why Watson and McManaman are on the bench sort of thing? Again, yeah, rotating we can around rotate. and protecting people? I, I'm absolutely, I'm only rotating them. I'm rotating them and I'm thinking about energy. They all have great ability. I, I, I've spoke to them all and I've said, you're all here to play first team football and I must play you when, when I can. Um, and the only thing that will change my mind is looking at it and thinking, does he put more energy into a Tramier team? Um, and the answer was today that the ones that were coming, I thought he would. And then again on Tuesday, we'll look at it again and we'll put more energy and more legs into the team if we have to again, um, because you have to. Um, so we will look at that without being reckless. Um, but I know that I've got quality all right through that sort of 14, 15 players that we do have. 
um, and we just need to keep trying to bring the young boys on and, and help to supplement that and, and, and hopefully we can we can keep them off it. And Elliot Nevin not involved today, how's he recovering? He's injured, he's got a, a, an ankle that he tried to be involved in training on Friday, he couldn't take part on Thursday and he just, had to, he just limped off so uh, he wasn't available to, uh, to take part. Well, long trip to Swindon now, you know, but looking forward to it. That's the sort of league league two is, isn't it? It's one game after another. Yeah, we, we enjoy playing for Tranmere, enjoy working for Tranmere, and we enjoy going all the place to represent Tranmere, and that's what we'll do. We'll get done there, we'll get well prepared, and we'll go down there and try and uh, pick up another valuable uh, uh, a, a, a victory for ourselves um, on the road and, and keep the, the scoreboard ticking over.